Hello, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Beth, and we worked with James to produce this video. Uh, we interviewed a lovely woman called Mrs Clegg about her experiences of living in Lancaster, especially on the marsh. Uh, we participated in this uh, project because we were interested in how stories are passed down. And we really hope that you enjoy her story. I'm Ellen Clegg and I'm 82 years old. Right. My great-grandfather came here on my mother's side from Bristol. He was a blacksmith. He brought four sons with him. Mm. They were all blacksmiths. Mm. Down Caton Road, well, the old landfill factories, mm. and there used to be a wagon works. They mm. made wagons for the railways. Mm. And they came here from Bristol. And um, one went to Barrow to work in the Hematite, two went to Manchester, and my grandfather stayed here. Right. On my father's side, my father's family belonged to Kendall and Westmoreland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His father came from Westmoreland, from Kendall, to live down here. Um, I still have relatives up in Westmoreland. Mm -hmm. My name before I was married, if you went to Westmoreland, every other person you met was a Braithwaite. So you're yeah. a breath I'm a breath yeah. And there's lots of us about. I talk to them. If they ask me something and I can tell them, I tell them. Mm. Sometimes they'll come in, do you know this gran or have you got a book about that gran? I find it, they help themselves, they look for it. If I don't know it I'll find out. And I tell them as much as I mm. can. Mm. Because I am a firm believer in the fact you should know where you come from and who you are descended from. If you don't, then you do not know who you are mm. or who has gone into you. My husband's grandfather was an inspector of police at Combe, way back. Mm -hmm. You know, his family came from East... Clegg is an East Lancashire name. Mm. Apart from that one on the box, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. an East Lancashire mm -hmm. name. Names will tell you a great deal. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Um, mine's Katie Ashton. Ashton. Well, that's a local name. Yeah. And what's your name? Uh, Bethany Dale. And that's a Yorkshire name. Yeah. And yeah. it's originally a Viking name. Mm. A Dale is a Viking word. All right. Dale means a valley. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a Viking word for valley. Okay, cool. I knew it was valley, I didn't know it was valley. Yes, it's a Viking word for valley. Cool. My name's Braithwaite and it means settlement by the lake. Mm. And I've just finished a course at college on the history of the north of England. Alright, cool. Between the Romans going and up to about the early Plantagenets. Mm. And it's a bit very, very interesting. Now, Northumbria always seems to take precedence. It was the kingdom. But you look over this side of the Pennines and there was a hell of a lot going on. Mm. All down from Glasgow down to North Wales. 65% mm -hmm. of the women on this side of the Pennines have Celtic blood. And some of them have pre-Celtic blood. The men haven't. The men, the proportion is much less, because the men are always the incomers, yeah. not the women. They stay and they marry native women. But there's a huge proportion of women in this area have Celtic blood or pre-Celtic blood, matrilineal. Yeah, cool. yeah. And if you go, I have a friend in Oslo. He comes to visit and he goes up to Cumbria. <laughs> he can talk to the old people and make himself perfectly well understood mm -hmm. because he speaks Norwegian and the old people use a lot of Norwegian words up in Westmoreland and Cumberland. Yeah. A lot of the words are derived from Norse, yes. not from Danish, yeah. from Norse different proposition. Mm. My grandparents lived on Denmark Street and um, 
We went to Freeman's Wood. Yeah. My daughters went to Freeman's Wood. My grandson's got in Freeman's Wood. Dick. I have a grandson, he's married with a little boy. And he came in one day, last September, and he said, where do you think we've been? And I said, I haven't a clue. <laughs> Well, I put him in the car and then I put him in the buggy and then I took him right through Freeman's Wood to the river. I said, what made you do that? And he said, well, you did it, Grandpa did it, Mum did it, I've done it. So I can, he's going to do it as well. Mm. And these places mean a great deal to people. They're born round there, they grew up round there, they lived round there. Don't get it today. There's a, they tell me there's a bloke in China who thinks he's bought Freeman's wood and he wants to build on it. Yeah. Well, I think he's going to find he isn't going to get it, is he? <laughs> and it, I think it's a bad thing when some things are allowed to yeah. disappear. Do you think people now have less respect for things that don't cost any money, maybe, like walks and um, No, I don't think it's that. I think it's they don't learn about where they live or who they are or where they come from. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know where you come from, then you're not going to know who you are. Mm -hmm. 